I'm Tony Beals, and I've been cooking for as long as I can remember. I've been a professional chef for over 20 years. I've worked with some of the very best in the business, at the highest level. And after cooking in the south of France for over 10 years, I returned to my Dorset roots in 2005 to start my very own award-winning catering business, Beals Gourmet. Based at our spectacular flagship venue near Sandbanks, the Italian Villa, our goal is to create some of the most sensational dishes which inject the wow factor into any event using the freshest, seasonal and local ingredients possible. And I'd like to welcome you to my world. This month, my team and I are going to show you how to make two of our most popular summer dishes. Grilled chicken with pea broad bean, baby onion and sage broth, and the classic creme brulee with homemade shortbread. As with many of our dishes, they are not overcomplicated. They look great and are very easy for you to make at home. Let's start with the chicken dish, which is perfect for this time of year when peas and broad beans are at their very best. We serve this dish with creamed potato, but you could use new potato, pasta or even rice. Prepare the vegetables by removing the peas and broad beans from their pods. Blanch off the peas and broad beans and refresh in ice cold water. And then remove the husk from the broad beans by popping out the bean. To make the broth, caramelise the baby onions in oil and butter. Then add some white wine and reduce. We use Sauvignon Blanc, which works very well for this dish. Add some reduced chicken stock. Homemade is best, of course. And finish with double cream. The beans, peas and sage will be added at the last minute so they stay nice and green. While the sauce is cooking, place the pancetta between two oven trays and cook in the oven to make it nice and crispy. Season your chicken breast and grill to caramelise the skin and give that lovely grilled taste. Once seared, transfer to the oven and cook on a medium heat until cooked through. Rest the chicken for a few minutes before cutting and plating up. Just before serving, Add the beans and peas to the broth and then add the chopped sage. Don't forget to taste the broth before you plate up. To build the dish, place the mash in the centre of the plate or bowl. Spoon over the sauce making sure you get plenty of those beans, peas and onions around the bowl. Then cut the chicken in half, place on top of the mash and add the crispy pancetta before decorating with pea shoots. And that's that. I did say it was easy. To sample this dish with us, I've invited one of Beals Gourmet's rising stars, Ebony Butler, who has run our front of house department for the last three years before going on maternity leave. Ebony has now had her baby since filming and is now enjoying some well-earned time off with her baby Amber. And now for the creme brulee. Take three free range egg yolks, some caster sugar, some fresh vanilla seeds, and half a pint of double cream. Cream the sugar and the yolks together, add the fresh vanilla, and then the double cream. Strain the mix through a sieve in case there are any bits of shell in there. Fill up your brulee dish with the mix and add boiling water into the cooking tray at least halfway up the dish. Cook on 140 degrees for approximately 40 minutes. The custard needs to be just set so it stays nice and creamy. While the brulee is cooking, prepare your shortbread biscuits. We make heart-shaped biscuits for our wedding menu. Let's fast track this bit. Before serving, sprinkle caster sugar on the top of the brulee and torch until golden brown. Now the best bit is coming up, the cracking of the brulee. Now this takes me back to when I lived in France, as the French do like to make a song and dance about cracking the top of a brulee. The excitement on their faces when they hear that crack is something I will never forget and still makes me laugh today. To try this dish, I've invited Laura, our sales manager, and Justin, our commercial manager, down from the office to try the brulee. And trust me, they did not take much persuading. And that's it. Easy. To see the full recipe, please visit our website.